And several times we start a appreciation of our surroundings as we walk as the momentum increases. Yes. And as you allow more of who you are yes. to flow through you, anybody getting goosebumps just in the words yes. of this? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes we just look at the grass and where we live, there are different kinds of grasses yeah. and we pay attention to the little blades or the colors or the tones and all the, are you telling areas. us that you're feasting your eyes? Totally, totally. You know, we have, I don't know how many kinds of palm trees and we look at them sway and just feels good. And then the birds start singing and the flowers seem to be blossoming even more than what they are. Everyone's dancing with you, especially yes. your inner being. Yes. Yeah. So then we get to this place where we can sit and it's sort of a circle of these giant oak trees that yeah. have these Spanish moss hanging from yeah. them. And there's this little bench. So we go and sit there to do a meditation. Yes. Well, several times. Well, now we just want to say mm -hmm. meditation, not necessary under mm -hmm. those conditions. <laughs> You got ready to get ready to get ready to get yeah. ready to get ready. In other words, yes. it, Tarzan yodel would be better. <laughs> Swinging from a tree on a vine, Please. something with more enthusiasm. <laughs> That's exactly what happens because we're sitting there and usually I'm the one that talks more. So I say, feel the energy of the earth coming through your feet. Feel the roots of the trees blending with you as we sit here. Yeah. Feel the breeze that is just flowing and making us Extend sway. who we are outward to the rest of the world. Yes. In other words, yes. Sway like the Spanish moss is swaying on the trees. And as I'm saying those things, it seems like a world of nature gets awakened and the crickets or who knows what bugs, they start chirping. Everybody knows you. Everybody wants to play. And they chirp so loud. Yep. And for a moment I thought, I'm imagining this. And I look at my girlfriend and she goes, wow, what is this? And we have, our hairs are standing up. It, it's, it just feels so good. And, and we just stay there in awe. It's, it's like a choir of nature welcoming us. It's amazing. It's amazing. When you go into a forest or into a private setting, mm -hmm. Jerry has to remember being at Virginia Beach and going in the Seaside State Park there. And when they first entered, they didn't see a critter of any kind. There wasn't a bird, mm -hmm. not a lizard, nobody around anywhere. But once they began their walk and once they began to get into the rhythm of who they are, mm -hmm. it wasn't long before different parts of nature would come and show themselves to them. In the ranger station, there was a picture of a fox. And Esther stopped and asked the ranger, do you see this fox often? And it was called the elusive silver gray fox. And the ranger said, no, I've never seen him, but he is said to have been here. He's said to be here. And so it wasn't 10 minutes later, then Jerry and Esther were walking down a trail and they looked down and the elusive silver gray fox was crossing the road with them and stopped just long enough to say, hey, and off he went. <laughs> You all do that with each other too. Whatever you've got going on vibrationally, others may join you and they may add to the rhythm of your vibration. They may sing along, they may cricket along, or they may slow your vibration down just by their entering into the atmosphere. It's nice to have a friend like that, isn't it? Yeah.